Well, good evening, Groundlings. How are you this Friday evening? It's nearly a week since I saw you uh, and posted from the Savanac Forest, and I'm sorry to uh, leave it so long, but a crammed week, a good one. But I thought I'd just check in with you um, ahead of the weekend and um, share with you that I've uh, been reading this little book. Uh, uh, it's a selection of Wendell Berry's essays called What I Stand For is what I stand on. Uh, great going to ground title. Uh, Wendell Berry, of course, an American uh, agriculturalist, farmer, has farmed the same plot of Kentucky ground for, um, well, at least 50 years, um, longer, I think, since the late 50s. He's now probably nearly 90. He was born in the 30s, uh, a Christian uh, ecologist, and uh, essayist, philosopher, a, a remarkable man, actually. And um, I commend his writings to you, many writings. Uh, some of you will have come across him. And uh, this is just a tiny little um, penguin selection. I read it on the train back from London on Tuesday, and it's uh, you can read it in in uh, 40 minutes. And it's it's three little essays from across the last six decades, really, beginning with... Uh, this one, Think Little, in 1970, and there um, it's part of the Penguin Green Ideas series, and so it's uh, these are essays about ecological matters. But his the theme that's running through these essays right up to to a fairly recent one is that we've become detached from the soil. Um, that mo modern society has mechanized society has become detached from the soil. And he particularly sees that in the way that we relate to food, that we uh, look at food as a as a as a man-made product, and we don't question the, where it comes from or or care for how it how it comes to us. And he sees this disconnection between us and the and the and the the produce and how how the produce is 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 uh, is grown and and given in. And what it does to the earth and whether actually the way in which uh, what we eat and, and, and consume is good for the earth or not and yet we depend upon it. Um, that basic disconnection, the distancing between us and the soil, sometimes obviously in, in, in thousands of miles of travel but with the food takes to get to our plate, he sees as, as deeply full up, flawed, very damaging for human society as, as much as for the planet. And um, so his his um, line of thought is always to, to, to get us back closer to, to our own bit of soil so that we understand and, and uh, uh, relate to what we stand on. And he says, even if you have a window box, you need a little bit of soil to work and grow so that you realise the gift of the place that you're in. This is a great theme in going to ground over the last couple of years and close also to my views about the future of the local church. Um, Barry talks a lot about subsistence here. Um, subsistence not only in the old agricultural uh, way of using that, uh, that word in the sense of growing your own food and being able to live from, from the land, your land, uh, but but as he writes, the principle of subsistence uh, applies uh, uh, to lo not just to localities but to re regions and nations as well. The principles of neighbourhood and subsistence belong together, and he believes that that um, neighbourhoods should should be able to subsist. They should um, socially economically, agriculturally, um, uh, they should be able to support and sustain themselves in an ecosystem, in an ecology. And um, that is fascinating to me in terms of thinking about the future of the parish system and churches and church buildings. How can we return to a kind of local subsistence particularly when there is there are regionally inequalities. Not everybody has the same amount. Uh, one of the things I've been uh, thinking about, and in fact talking to a local farmer here, uh, it, just down, down the road uh, from us, 
is is around how, how we can again begin to uh, return to to market garden principles where we where we grow enough for our own community in some some basic produce obviously uh, any any number of things will come to us from further away but to begin again to um to be subsistent and um that would be very interesting uh, to explore particularly i think for the church which has lots of land um but not everybody has the same amount um and one of the great problems with the old subsistence model of the parish system was that it was grossly unequal so some parishes had lots and lots of glebe fields and vast manors and and were able and, and wealthy so the the, the ties and the and the the yield of the land was so much greater and you had good livings and bad livings, poor livings. And uh, after the Second World War, between the 50s and the, and the 1970s, all that was gradually uh, evened out so that it was it was levelled up in the parlance of, of today's political uh, scene. And levelling up is important, but levelling up must, mustn't take away uh, from the 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 dignity of each each neighborhood and place to to uh, to take responsibility for its own land and life and uh, a form of subsistence is vital so that we don't just pass pass the buck and pass the responsibility or or draw upon the resources of others sometimes somehow as i say at the risk of repeating myself we have to find a, a new kind of subsistence morally socially uh, and in terms of 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 how we organize our, our our commerce and our consumption far easier said than done but wendell berry is a is a great guide along that route um he feels sure that and i agree with him here you may you may not um uh, and it is a it's a moot point, but he feels very strongly that the free market global capitalism has uh, has really deeply damaged our relationship to the land and and separated us from it, um, so that we've become uh, we've pursued low prices and cheap cheap goods at whatever the cost to society and ecology. And um, that loss of rooting, he is, uh, he, he thinks, will be the death of us unless we wake up. So it is a, it's, it's a, it's a bit of a manifesto. This what I stand for is what I stand on, um, and I'm with him all the way. I have to say, lots to think about and more to talk about. But that'll do for now. Now, nice to check in with you, and uh, I expect I'll see you outside in the next few days. God bless you as you go to ground.